In this video, we will be recreating the Slenderman page collection system. Here is the overview, in order to win, we collect the 8 pages using the E key control. First, go to your project settings which is at the edit tab. Go to the input category, here we have the action mappings. We need to add a interact key input, I will be making it the letter E. Once the input's written, go to your player character. Right click and search for the interact action that we created. We now need to create a line trace from our player to the interactables. We can start with getting our camera. From there we get the world location and this is our start point. We also need the forward vector from the camera so we can create a line in front of us. Get a line trace by channel node. Connect the world location to start. Then from forward vector add a multiplication node. Right click and change it to a float. I put the line length as 2000. Since this is also third person, I need a longer line. I added an addition node. I connected that to the end location. For debug purposes, I set it to the for duration so I can see the red trace line. You can turn it off when you are not testing the game. I added a branch to check if the line hit something. Now I get the out hit and break it to get all this data. Before we can finish this function, we need to create an interact interface to use. Now, we have to make an interact interface to share the same function. Go to your content browser, right click, and create an interface. Call it bi underscore interactable. Every interactable object can now use this interface. Open it up and add a function. This function is simply interact. Now, add an input. Call it player. Your player character type, we need it for later. Save it and go to your player. Go to your hit data, find actor, and from there call your interact interface. For the player input, just put the self node. Compile and save, we can now create our page actor. Right click and create a blueprint actor. Name it bp underscore page. Open it up and add a static mesh component. I will be adding a cube. Scale it down to fit. Go to your event graph and delete these nodes as we aren't using them. Importantly go to your class settings up here. It should open a panel where you can find interfaces. Add your interactable interface. This page actor can now react to the line trace. On the left side below the functions category is the interface category. Double click interact to get the event. With this event, you can now add code. First, a do once. This is to make sure players don't spam to get extra points before the page gets destroyed, only gives you one page per actor. I will also add a destroy actor. Now place the actors in the map. Test to see if your pages get destroyed. If it works, move on. This isn't traditional but I am going to do the UI first before the points system. Right click and create a UI widget. This is the player widget and in here add a canvas panel. Next add a horizontal box. In this box, we can add a text. This will say pages. Center it and align it. Add another text to the box and this will be our pages amount. I center it and press the fill button. Default text to 0 slash 8. Now go to the top and name it pages amount and set it to as variable so we can update this text to the amount the player has. With this set, compile and save and go back to the player. On our character, add an event begin play. Then create widget, set it to the one you created. Right click the return value output and just promote it to variable. I called it player widget reference. We also need to add it to viewport. That's our widget done. Now our custom event that adds our page amount and checks if we win the game. Right click and search for custom event. Call it add pages. Next, we need a variable of an integer type. Call it pages collected. We need another similar variable that is our max pages needed to win. Set your default value of pages needed to 8 or whatever number you want. Get your current pages and call the add node. Then set current pages to the add node. Remember to put one in the add. 
Next, we need to update the widget. Get your widget reference and get your pages amount text. Then get a set text node. Since we are using one text to show off current and max pages, we need a format text. Add in curly brackets and a slash in between. The brackets count as inputs. The first curly bracket the input is called current. The second bracket is for the max pages. Now get your current pages variable and stick into the first input. Put the max pages into the second input. Now, add a branch to check if we have all the pages. Get your current page and your max pages needed. Also get a greater than and equals to node. Check if current is greater than max. Put that into the condition of branch. On true, do a print string. The text in it is, you have won this game. Now go to your pages actor to finish it. On interact, drag from the player input and call the add pages event. Connect it before the destroy actor. Make sure the lines are connected then compile and save. In your map, place many pages and then test the game. Check if it updates the widget. Collect all 8 and see if it prints string. I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing and sharing. See you next time.